Take my bride, let's go for a ride in my new fangled automobile. This where we will go. Nobody knows, but it's sure a great way to feel. Behind the wheel of the speed me to steal, it's my new fangled automobile. Well, hello and welcome to Vintage Car History. I'm Wild Bill. Cars were a new and exciting technology in the late 19th century. Inventors and engineers from many nations were creating and developing the new automotive industry. In many countries, the car was embraced and industry flourished. Yet in some countries, uh, were not so supportive of the new invention and instead strove to restrict or even ban the use of newfangled automobiles. However, just because a country isn't into cars yet doesn't mean that the nation won't bring forth a family of automotive greatness, which brings up the subject of Switzerland and the Henriot brothers. The Swiss of the 1890s were not, as a whole, particularly enthusiastic about cars. There are a number of good reasons for this, first most being the topography of the country. Switzerland was and is a country known for not being very flat. The Alps make up a big chunk of the country, and the hills and rugged valleys at the foot of them are all along the west and northern part of the Swiss map. Most roads were not paved, as the paving methods of the time couldn't manage the sheer slope of many of the Swiss roads and would just slide off. So Swiss roads of the late 19th century were either dusty, muddy, or frozen based on the time of the year and they were steep. Across the nation, the elevation can change by over 14,000 feet, and that's a lot of meters. Connecting a country with that kind of drastic changes in elevation in such a small space means that the place is covered with roads that you better be ready to climb as much as drive, and early cars couldn't handle that very well. Because of this, many various towns and counties in Switzerland had already put local legislation in place to limit the use of cars or ban them outright. By 1895, even if you had a car that could handle the steep roads, the local laws made it quite impossible to drive across the country anyway. If the Swiss people were going to embrace the motor car, someone or someones would have to come up with a car that the people could trust. Enter the Henriot brothers. Now, the Henriot family had, for generations, been manufacturers of steam engines, gears, carriages, and such. Fritz Henriot was born in Beale in 1866, and being a boy growing up in a big factory making really cutting-edge machines, he took to it. By the time he was 20, he had a strong hands-on understanding of both steam and gas engines, which the family factory also chose to expand into. So young Fritz decided it was time for the Swiss to have a car. His first machine, built in 1888, was, in many ways, similar to the then-contemporary Didion Bouton steam car. Though Fritz's car was three and not four wheels, it had a simple single-cylinder steam engine with a wood or coal-filed boiler. Yes, it took a while to get up to steam, but steam engines by nature are very torquey, and his steam trike was able to get up and down most of the roads that Switzerland threw at him. He switched to gas in 1893 building a four-wheeled car with hot tube ignition, very similar to the Peugeot of 1892. But he didn't just direct copy the competition. He designed his own engine. Single cylinder, producing about three horsepower, his engine had a very long stroke, which gave it very good torque, important in hilly places. Speed was not as important as the ability to crawl anywhere, and his car did well. Meanwhile, his younger brother, Charles Edward, also got the car bug and came up with an engine design of his own. His design of 1895 was unique, if not revolutionary, a cylinder head with rotary valves. In a typical engine, the valves go up and down, sealing the head like a pancake on a stick. In Chuck's engine, the valve is a rotating tube with cut out slots in it to direct intake and exhaust through its spinning motion. It worked well and could burn less volatile fuels. The brothers decided to put their heads together and founded Switzerland's first car manufacturer, Henriot Ferrez, in 1896. Their first model was displayed at the Geneva National Exhibition of the same year, and it got a lot of attention. Twin-cylinder engine of Charles's design, and it could run on grain alcohol and give four very torquey horsepower. 
The transmission was a simple sliding pinion with no clutch. You'd have to time your gear changes well, but it did work well enough. Production went into full swing, and the brothers soon had plants in both Switzerland and France building their hill climbing cars. And over the next de decade or so, the Swiss softened their hearts towards the motor car, and some beautiful and very noteworthy cars were Swiss made in the vintage era. And Switzerland has the Henriot brothers to thank for putting them on the road. Thanks for watching Vintage Car History, and we'll see you next week. Peace.